artist, musician turned filmmaker, directed, written, and produced indie feature films, hundreds of MTV music videos, and many HBO and PBS concert specials. Also a partner at Desert CAM Studios and Wynn Films to make the next presentation of our next a Lifetime Achievement Award, Mr. Chip Miller. Hi everyone, thank you so much. I'm probably the only one here with prepared notes <clears throat> because there's just too much to synopsize in a couple of minutes about this man's career. Um, anyway, I met Trini a few years ago and uh, we've been working on a project together which I'll tell you more about when we read this. But I'm very, very proud to honor him tonight and uh, he's an amazing icon. And this is an amazing affair, by the way, so thank you for having me. It's been really tremendous. Anyway, um, I'll read my notes here, so forgive me. I'm not an actor, I'm a director, so I'm allowed to look at notes and scripts. Anyway, um, Trini Lopez has been basking in the uh, show business spotlight for over 55 years. Born in Dallas, Texas, and growing up in a small Mexican neighborhood, he rose to become the most famous Mexican-American singer in contemporary musical history. In 1958, he was asked to join the Crickets after Buddy Holly died. But he chose a steady job at the club PJs instead. Yes. Where Frank Sinatra heard him and signed him to his own label, Reprise Records. What followed was a smash debut album, Live at PJs, selling over a million copies and still selling today. Amen. Amen. Bravo. And Trini's hit singles, If I Had a Hammer, yeah. Lemon Tree, Kansas City, America, La Bamba, Michael, Sinner Man, Coming Home Cindy, and many, many, many more. <clears throat> In fact, his combined album sales net over a hundred million copies. A hundred million copies. As an actor, he appeared in the films The Dirty Dozen, Yes. Antonio and Marriage on the Rocks, as well as on the TV series Adam 12, which was just on about two weeks ago. Yay. He designed guitars for Gibson Guitar Corporation, and some famous owners of his guitar include Noel Gallagher of the band Oasis, U2's The Edge, and Dave Grohl of the Foo Fighters, formerly of Nirvana. And Trini signed guitar, and his name is seen in the opening credits of the new David Grohl successful 2014 successful, I'm sorry, uh, Showtime series, Sonic Highways, which just got picked up again for next year. And in the opening credits, you see his guitar and his name every week. Recently, Trini performed eight concerts at the Netherlands with the Johann Strauss Symphony Orchestra and a 12,000 seat amphitheater. He was also honored for having the first number one hit on Dutch charts. And he just performed in Paris recently on Patrick Sebastian's long-running TV program, The Happy Years, which was broadcast to 25 million French-speaking viewers on TV5 channels around the world. And I just learned a few days ago that he's also set to star in an upcoming indie Western film, Montoya's Betrayal, Betrayal, sorry about that, to be produced and directed by Robert Lothier, who I think is here in the audience. Trini has been inducted into the Las Vegas Walk of Stars, the International Latin Music Hall of Fame, the Disneyland Walk of Stars, and he received a golden palm on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars. Later, thank you. Later this year, I have the honor of directing him in a two-hour special for public television. I do a lot of these specials, and I felt that Trini was definitely a fodder for a great two-hour special. It's called Trini Lopez and Friends, an all-star tribute concert and a 50th anniversary special. Musical stars, both past and present, will pay tribute to this great, enduring entertainer, as we all do tonight with this prestigious and well-deserved Golden Halo Lifetime Achievement Award. Congratulations, mi amigo. Thank you.
Please sit down, please. What a nice board. This is great. Thank you, thank you. Chip Miller, uh, Julie Rim, uh, Robert Lanthier, thank you very much for your nice words and for inviting me to be here and accept this very nice special award. I'm very proud. And uh, I just want to say a few little words because I know it's getting late. Uh, I want to say that my name is Trini Lopez, but my real name is Trinidad. Yay. But everybody, everybody calls me Trini for short. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> but my parents, my parents used to like to name their children after places uh, that they had visited. And my uh, father and mother spent their honeymoon on the island of Trinidad in the Caribbean. Ah. <laughs> no so, wonder you're a Latin lover. <laughs> so if you think my name is a little strange, so if you think my name is a little strange, you should meet the rest of my family. <laughs> I have a brother named El Paso Lopez. <laughs> I have a sister named Long Island Lopez. <laughs> But in a way, I was kind of lucky to have been named Trinidad because my folks were planning on spending their honeymoon on the Virgin Islands. <laughs> but um, before, before I get off, I just want to say that uh, <laughs> everywhere I go, people ask me this one question about Frank Sinatra. Everywhere I go, all over the world, people ask me this all the time. They said, Trini, do you remember the first thing that Frank Sinatra ever said to you. The first thing that Frank Sinatra ever said to anyone. You would remember that, right? Yes. Yeah. And I remember mine vividly. I'll never forget. Mr. Sinatra looked at me with his blue eyes, you know, and uh, he looked at me and he said, hey kid, get out of the way. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for this great gift. Thank you. I'm very proud to be here. God bless you all. to me about uh, what's coming up in this very hotel. September 18th is the 60th anniversary of Gunsmoke. And Robert Lanthier and myself will be producing that. We're going to get everybody together that's ever been in Gunsmoke, affiliated with Gunsmoke. It's going to be huge. It's going to be 